हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टुडेज टी के लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डे प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज रिसेंटली द टर्म ए आर थ्री जीरो एट फाइव वॉज इन न्यूज इट इज प्लांट स्पीशीज एस्टीरॉयड एक्सोप्लैनेट और सनस्पॉट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सनस्पॉट अ ह्यूज सनस्पॉट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सन हैज रिपोर्टेडली ग्रोन इन साइज More than tenfold over the past couple of days, the sunspot AR three zero eight five has also been shooting off several minor solar flares, though nothing strong enough to be disruptive on Earth. Hence, option D is correct. Sunspots are regions of the sun where magnetic fields are so intense that some heat is prevented from reaching the sun's surface. As such, sunspots may appear as dark patches. Due to the intense magnetic fields, sunspots are known sources of solar activity. When these magnetic field lines suddenly shift, a vast amount of energy is released in the form of a flash of radiation known as a solar flare. or a cloud of plasma and magnetic field known as coronal mass ejection or cme now let's begin today's session first question is swachh sagar surakshit sagar or clean coast safe sea campaign is spearheaded by which of the following ministries ministry of earth sciences ministry of petroleum and natural gas ministry of jal shakti or ministry of home affairs the correct answer is option a ministry of earth sciences recently the union minister of environment forest and climate change participated in swachh sagar surakshit sagar campaign at puducherry swachh sagar surakshit sagar or clean coast safe sea campaign is a 75 day citizen led initiative aimed at improving coastal and ocean health via community action The campaign began on July 5, 2022 and will culminate on 17th September 2022 that is International Coastal Cleanup Day. The campaign is spearheaded by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. It is also partnered with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, the Indian Coast Guard, the National Disaster Management Authority and so on. Hence option A is correct. Next question is the Ashwasan campaign is related to malaria typhoid leprosy or tuberculosis the correct answer is option D tuberculosis recently the ministry of tribal affairs and the ministry of health and family welfare organized a national conclave in new delhi to disseminate the learnings of the 100 day ashwasan campaign the ashwasan campaign started on 7th january 2022 for active case finding for tb in 174 tribal districts of india under the ambit of the tribal tb initiative it was flagged off in nandurbar district maharashtra under the initiative door to door screening for tb was undertaken hence option d is correct next question is india celebrates national sports day on 28th august 29th august 30th august or 31st august the correct answer is option b 29th august India celebrates National Sports Day on 29th August to commemorate the birth anniversary of hockey legend Major Dhyan Chand. The day is also dedicated to the nation's sports heroes and champions, honoring their contribution and dedication towards bringing laurels to the country. Its aim is to raise awareness about the values of sports, discipline, perseverance, sportsman spirit, teamwork and so on. Hence option B is correct. Next question is recently the Airports Authority of India or AAI signed MOU with which of the following countries to facilitate smart and sustainable aviation technology collaboration Sweden Norway Finland or Denmark the correct answer is option A Sweden Recently AAI and LFV Air Navigation Services of Sweden signed a memorandum of understanding that is MOU at the corporate headquarters of AAI in New Delhi the agreement brings together two air navigation service providers with demonstrated capabilities in operationalizing the next generation of sustainable aviation technology to explore smart aviation solutions this mou shall pave the way for bilateral exchange of aviation expertise and technology between the two countries it will allow the indian companies to accelerate growth while leveraging swedish innovation and expertise under the aegis of the mou the companies can collaborate in areas of mutual interest 
Hence, option A is correct. Next question is Malvinas issues is associated with the United Kingdom and Brazil, Peru, Bolivia or Argentina. The correct answer is option D, Argentina. Recently, India reiterated its support to Argentina for resumption of talks on the Malvinas issue. Falkland Islands War, also called Malvinas War on South Atlantic War, was a brief undeclared war fought between Argentina and Great Britain in 1982 over control of the Falkland Islands or Islas Malvinas and associate island dependencies. Argentina had claimed sovereignty over the Falkland Islands since the early 19th century, but the Britain seized the islands in 1833. In early 1982, the Argentine military junta launched an invasion to get back these islands but failed. Hence, option D is correct. Next question is, VASP-39B is a or an gene editing tool, exoplanet, cruise missile or telescope? The correct answer is option B, exoplanet. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured the first clear evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside the solar system. WASP-39b is a hot gas giant with a mass roughly one quarter that of Jupiter, about the same as Saturn and a diameter 1.3 times greater than Jupiter. Its extreme puffiness is related in part to its high temperature. It orbits very close to its star, only about one-eighth the distance between the Sun and the Mercury, completing one circuit in just over four Earth days. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, Jezero crater is associated with Moon, Venus, Earth or Mars? The correct answer is option D, Mars. Scientists got a surprise when NASA's Perseverance Mars rover found that J0 crater's floor is made up of volcanic rocks that have interacted with water. NASA chose J0 crater as the landing site for the Perseverance rover. J0 crater is 28 miles wide and is located on the western edge of a flat plain called Isidis Planitia, which lies just north of the Martian equator. Hence, option D is correct. Next question is, Tiber River flows in Egypt, Albania, Jordan or Italy? The correct answer is option D, Italy. Italy's worst drought in 70 years has exposed the piers of an ancient bridge over the Tiber River once used by Roman emperors. Two piers of Nero's bridge have been visible much of the summer near the Vittorio Emanuel Bridge that traverses the river near the Vatican. The bridge was built in the first century for Emperor Nero to reach his gardens near Janiculum Hill. Tiber River is the historic river of Europe and is one of the longest Italian rivers. It rises on the slope of Monte Fumaiolo. It flows through the city of Rome and enters the Tyrrhenian Sea of the Mediterranean Sea. Hence, option D is correct. Next question is, which of the following best describes the term Draco, a species of penguin, constellation, anti-tank missile or marine organism? The correct answer is option B, constellation. Astronomers have discovered a nearby exoplanet that may prove to be the first such world covered in water. TOI 1452b is an exoplanet slightly larger and more massive than Earth, about 100 light years away, from our planet in the Draco constellation. Hence, option B is correct. TOI 1452b first came to astronomers' attention through NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite or TESS spacecraft, which studies distant stars. Unlike Earth, which is a mostly rocky and metallic planet, with water covering around 70% of its surface, TOI 1452b appears to be made largely but not entirely of water, with about 30% of its mass coming from the liquid. Last question is recently which of the following countries recorded world's lowest fertility rate? Poland, Japan, Georgia or South Korea? The correct answer is option D, South Korea. Recently, South Korea has again recorded the world's lowest fertility rate with the number sinking to a new low. Hence, option D is correct. The figures released by the government showed the figure had dropped to 0.81, down from 0.84 the previous year and a sixth consecutive decline. 
In comparison, the average rate across the world's most advanced economies is 1.6 children. Countries need at least 2 children per couple, that is a 2.1 rate, to keep their population at the same size without migration. Now it's time for the practice question. In which of the following countries the dugong has become the first large vertebrate to go functionally extinct? Japan, South Korea, Vietnam or China? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.